23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Monday. This morning, Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer joined 23 ABC to talk about National Crime Victims Rights Week. During our conversation, she spoke about the current state of crime in Kern County and the spike we've seen this year. Uh, so far in the first three months of 2021, we are um, far above even what we were last year. And that's unfortunate news. We're hoping when schools open, when people can get back to their business, um, and when people can gather and be supportive, that that will uh, go down. But uh, the pandemic has had a, a horrific influence on public safety. Now, this year, there is no Victims' Rights March, but the DA's office will instead host what it's calling an Honor and Remembrance Drive, Wednesday afternoon from 2.30 to 3.30, taking place downtown on Truxton in front of Superior Court. If you'd like to check out the entire interview with District Attorney Zimmer, you can head to our website and visit our social media platforms. And Brody the dog expected to be released from a veterinary hospital on Tuesday. According to the Ace of Hearts Dog Rescue, they're now looking for a new foster family for the dog. Brody is a Dogo Argentino and Mastiff mix, and despite his situation, we're told that he still loves people. If you are interested or to get more information, you can visit acesangels.org and fill out a foster application. Meantime, in other news, Ryan McLeod is being recalled from the Condors to Edmonton. He's only the third Condor to make the move to the taxi squad, which was set up in the NHL to allow teams to carry more players on the active roster due to COVID concerns. McLeod had a pair of goals on Saturday night. He now has 14 on the season with 14 assists. Also today, Condors announced that defense and Vincent Dayarnay was signed to a two-year contract extension. All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Elaine Russ and get a check of that Monday forecast. Well, good morning. So with the calm, clear conditions out there, we're quite warm here on the valley floor. A range of 80s, Button Willow trying to get to the 90s, down into the desert, plenty of 80s there. Also trying to push to that 90 degree mark. Isabella 82, Tatchby 74, Fraser Park 73 today with a seasonal breeze, but those breezes will get stronger as the week goes on thanks to a system marching down from the north. Not very wet, but cooler at least. We have the chance to see some 70s here in the valley on Earth Day. Warmer to end the week and then look ahead to early next week. Some winds, some cloud cover, a slight chance of rain, much colder air coming on shore. We could see the 60s out there, but we got to wait and see. It's a week away. Isabella, 80s today and tomorrow. Tatchby, you saw the 70s. You're all much cooler, a bit more seasonal by Thursday. Warmer to end the week. We'll keep a close eye on those winds for Sunday with that chance of rain and even high elevation mountain snow coming Monday. And that's a check of some of the stories we're following at this hour. Don't forget, you can find breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere by simply downloading our free mobile and tablet apps. We'll have another update for you right here later today.